Hello Legion, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our Polish Winter Series. We are one turn away from our spaceport being completed in Krakow, and then we very badly need to repair our industrial center, our industrial complex, which was attacked by an enemy spy. Even though we have a counter-spy set up in Krakow, Pola, you did not do your job, young lady, old lady, whoever you are. Whoever you are indeed, you did not do your job. Also, uh, Radom is almost done with their factory. So we will be able to culture bomb Laventa, as so many people have been wanting me to do for so long. What wonder was just built? Mont Saint Michel was done. Was built. Okay, that's fine. Your progress towards space race has advanced considerably. Oh, awesome. All right, that actually, space race gives us civics policies that will make the science victory even easier. So we need to focus on that as soon as possible. Now, okay. Krakow is done with its... It's going to take one turn each to repair these things. That's not bad at all. All right, now let's go ahead and build an encampment here. Now, where should we culture bomb them? <laughs> I think here would be the best spot to culture bomb them. But also here is a possibility. That would impact their food a little bit more, though. Yeah, let's go here. All right, so we're going to build an encampment. It's going to take seven turns, and then we'll see how exactly that improves our borders in that area. Okay, we're going to go to sleep here with that ship in Bedgusht, and we have some tanks that are fully healed up, so just, you just need to go to alert mode. Same with you. And, oh yes, that's right, we have a ranger down here in Saudi Arabia. Let's head back up north and see what else he can find out. Again, the, the boost to nuclear fusion has been stolen. So, from where? Yeah, in Krakow. This, this counter spy is not doing their job at all. They're kind of crap. I'm disappointed in you, Pola. You don't even look like a lady. That's that's a male Pola. You can rename the character if I wanted to, but at this point it doesn't this character doesn't deserve another name. All right. So, now we have an amenities problem. I'm guessing we lost suzerain status with Yerevan. Uh, well, what is Yerevan? Wait a minute. Maybe we lost Suzerain status with Buenos Aires last turn. Let's have a look. Yeah, Russia is the Suzerain of Buenos Aires. So, we're going to have another envoy. Or no. Where's, yeah, we're going to have two envoys soon. So, we might be able to reclaim that, maybe. Oh, God, that sucks. So, now we have an amenities problem again. But, we're about to gain some new... Uh, we're about to gain spices for ourselves. Which I don't think we have any of right now. Let's see if we can have a look at the... Um, Resources report. It's not in world rankings. Where is the... Oh my gosh, I've just completely forgotten where to look at... Resources. Espionage, trade route overview. No. Available routes. That's nice, but that's not what I wanted. Where can I just see what my resources are like right now? View reports. Oh, that button. <laughs> you know, the, the button that says view reports right next to the research, resources buttons or icons. Okay, so... Resources. I do not see any spices. Perfect. Alright, so that's going to help us with our amenities problem once we have that settler on the way out there. So Krakow needs to continue to repair, repair that factory, then repair your power plant, and then we can get to work on other stuff. Uh, Bedgosh looks like they're done with their settler. Perfect. You need to get out there and get to work. There are some wonders I could build here, but now I kind of want to focus on other things. Uh, let's go ahead and get a workshop set up so we can have more production in Bedgosh, and then you need to counter spy here in the middle of the city. Ugh. All right, so this settler, <laughs> so annoyed. All right, you will just sit down right on top of those spices and settle there. We're right up next to Tenochtitlan. Meanwhile, this trader needs to come down to... Again, I'm, I'm looking for trade routes with science. Preferably some good money, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, Tenochtitlan. 
Absolutely. It's not a ton of science, but that's the one we're going for. Okay, our... Archaeologist Casper has arrived to es excavate another artifact. Let's go for an Aztec, ancient era Aztec mask. So now the theming bonus, same era, different civilization. So actually, wait, wait a minute. No, these are... It, it should be saying theming two of three right now. Because this is a barbarian artifact, is it not counting? If that's the case, I don't like it. I mean, I, I'm not necessarily... I don't have an ambition to go for the theming bonus unless I get lucky enough to find another artifact that helps with that. But, oh my gosh, I'm not, not a fan of that. All right. Oh, interesting. So they want some silk. Uh, I tell you what, I'm not going to pay you money per turn. Hmm. But they'll still take it. Okay. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Indeed. All right, so we didn't give them money per turn, but we did give them a lump sum in addition to some other stuff. And we got another luxury resource out of that. Uh, specifically, we got tobacco, which could potentially help. I hope it will. Aim for them. You just... Dude, Movemba, you, you just interrupted Sean Bean. Aim for the moon. If you miss, you may hit a star. There we go. Okay. Everything is right with the world. <laughs> All right, let's go for nuclear fusion next, because this one is going to give us... It's going to help us down the road. We need to go for both of these, unfortunately. So we just need to make our way down the line. But this is going to access the Manhattan Project. So we'll have nuclear weapons, and that way if Cairo gets any funny ideas, <laughs> we'll be able to say, uh, uh-uh, no. Okay, now let's go ahead and send all of our envoys to Buenos Aires. It's not going to be quite enough to get suzerain status back with them, but it'll help. So we are now in the game's equivalent of... This is a little abstract here. This is this 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 area of sea is 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 a little bit exaggerated, I think, because this this is basically where um, Crimea is. Uh, so this is the Black Sea up here, but um, Mediterranean down here. This is all a little bit exaggerated. So I think yeah, we actually just crossed the we're in the area of uh, Istanbul, although that should be more like right here. I, I'm sorry, it's just the the this character this caricaturized map kind of throws me a little bit but yeah we're, we're in the area of the real world Istanbul slash Constantinople all right five turns until our culture bomb drops in Radom also we have a we have a problem in Radom we need we really need to work on that the Colosseum is seven turns from being built in Poznania which is hilarious because it's 1918 AD <laughs> All right, Krakow, you are done. So it is time to launch the Earth satellite. Ten turns, and it'll be done. Right, let's get our ranger in the water here. Hey, our settlers arrived. Excellent. Uh, Plok, I'm guessing, is the name of that city, is the pronunciation of that city, rather. Now let's go ahead and purchase the monument. Let us purchase the granary. And then we'll go ahead and start production on... Uh, industrial zone, I guess. But first, before we do that, we need to um, buy that tile. Yep, let's start production of the industrial zone there. We've officially... Yeah, we fixed our amenities issue in Radom, but we need some housing. So basically, we need to build some sewers. Because apparently, sewers provide housing. Don't ask questions. Just, just roll with it. <laughs> it's not. Uh... Water and air. Okay. The two essentials on which life depends have become global garbage cans. Mm. Jacques Cousteau, or Jacques Cousteau, rather. The S always makes me want to add a plural to it. All right, uh, resource management. One copy of, of a strategic resource allows you to produce and, and purchase units requiring it in any city, rather than requiring two. Um, 
not really that important to me, to be completely honest with you. Just taking a look to see if there's any more sensible policies to add right now than what we have. No, I'll leave them as is. New Civic. Do we have access to the space race yet? No, we're nowhere near it. Oh my god. Alright, so we need to research. No, we don't need to research Scorched Earth. We can leave that alone. I do need to research uh, mobilization. Wow, we are badly behind there. New Envoy. Oh, with the Suzerain of Buenos Aires again. Very good. Let's go ahead and send some more Envoys there. We got two more. And then additionally, let's go ahead and get... Yeah, let's get... Um, Let's get the level 3 bonus from Vilnius. Get a little bit more culture points streaming in. Meanwhile. Okay, so we have explored most of mainland Europe with our ranger at this point. Are you serious? Industrial Zone just got sabotaged in Krakow again. Dude, do your job! Okay, I guess I need to move the counter spy to the Industrial Zone, because this is not working. Now we're going to have to wait additional turns to get that satellite launched, which is really annoying. It's probably still going to launch this episode. But, my god, you want to talk about annoying. Your progress toward Cold War has advanced considerably. Yeah, if we might be about to have a Cold War with this arms race, all you're going to do is make the rubble bounce. <laughs> Indeed, Winston. Indeed. All right, let's go for synthetic materials here, because, again, we need all, all these technologies in order to really move forward across the tree. Wood is done. What else do we need? I guess let me get a builder to help facilitate the stuff in this area. Alright, Texcoco, let's go ahead and begin a route there. Settler, oh perfect. Yeah, you're going to land right there in the middle. Which I believe is right around where uh, Tokyo actually is. What's your issue, dude? Oh, that's right. I have more resources than you do. He's not happy with all these new uh, luxury resources I'm happening upon. Our culture bomb is about to drop in radon. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. Dude, you just... No. <laughs> You're interrupting me. All right, so this is our encampment. It's about to go live. I, I guess maybe all these tiles around it will become ours. So Leventa will lose maybe one tile. Yep, that's what happened. Cool. So if we built a fort right here, we would get that tile and that tile. We get Leventa and a tile from uh, Azcapotzalco. Azcapotzalco. Yes, that's the name. Of this. <laughs> Sorry, took me a second. All right, let's go for the factory in Bidgost, and then, ooh, now we have other choices, don't we? I guess I'm going to go ahead and build barracks so we get the production bonus. And also the housing bonus, because we need housing. Particularly in that city. Next turn. Six turns away from the satellite launching. That's going to be glorious when it happens. It's being built right there. First step of the science victory, and we're going to get to see everything on the planet. And I believe we'll also be the first. Let's have a quick look at victory progress and ensure that that is in fact true. Yep, we're the only ones even close to it. So we are cruising at this While point. While the Colosseum toward... stands, hey! Rome shall stand. Indeed. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. Okay. Go ahead and purchase a natural or a naturalist so that we can set up a, a national park. Okay, now we can build an arena here 
No, we need housing here, first and foremost. That's what we need. So let me scroll down and look into... What would provide housing? I guess an encampment. Or a neighborhood. <laughs> a neighborhood would certainly provide housing. Yeah, let's go for right here. Let's just get a neighborhood district built. It's going to take 21 turns. But Poznan will not have a housing problem after that. Well, let's go ahead and get sewers built in... Uh, Radom, for the same reason. I feel like I've accidentally called it Radom again in the past little bit. If I have, I apologize. <laughs> I understand that mispronunciation doesn't bother the vast majority of people, but the point is that it bothers me. If I know how to pronounce something and I mispronounce it, it's like, that's the principle of the thing, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and found a city here. Legnica? I'll have to look that up. There's no accents, but again, the, the accents are randomly missing. So, I mean, there might be an accent there that the game didn't include. Let's go ahead and purchase uh, the monument. Let us purchase the watermill. Can we purchase the granary too? Yes, we can. Excellent. All right, so that city's off to a great start. And now I'm going to go ahead and go for, I'll tell you what, let's go for a theater square here. Right there. Just building up a little just a little bit of that uh, missing culture from earlier in the game. It's really just going to help keep pushing us forward, especially if we can get the space race civics anytime soon. That would be nice. Uh, we're just slow on civics because I, again, I've been focused on science like a Civ 5 player, but lesson learned. This city's growing nicely. Okay, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Cristo Redentor is tempting. But what's even more tempting is... <laughs> what if we settled? What if we settled in the area of California? <laughs> there's technically room for... Us. Uh, actually, there's not. That's within four tiles right there. Damn. Yeah, here. Let's look at it this way. Actually, wait. No, it isn't within four tiles. That's... That's the fourth tile away, so it's settleable. And we could totally settle right there. Oh, that'd be mean. The Aztecs would not like us. There's no real need to do that, being totally honest. Where else could we settle? We could settle right there, on top of those sheep. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. There's one settling spot. We can spread the, the civilization out that direction. It's perfect. And uh, this is not even that far away. So yeah, go ahead and go for another settler in Wooch. And you're going to come up here. All right, now our naturalist, where would be a good spot for you to build a national park? Right there. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, because it's on Mount Everest. All right, we'll get them over there. That's going to be awesome. All right, now let's get you out here to help this whole place grow faster, please. Next turn. Okay, now Cleopatra wants an alliance and me to give open borders. They're going to pay me 24 gold per turn for 30 turns and a lump sum of 10 gold, and give me coffee. All right, tell you what, let's let's do away with the alliance and the open borders. And you're still happy to accept it? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I just tilted that way in favor of my civilization. And you totally let it happen. Okay. That's funny. Hey, Trajan likes us now. Interesting that we have so many civilizations that are friendly toward us. This maybe reflects some of the more recent There's diplomacy changes. There's so much changes. plastic in this culture that vinyl leopard skin is becoming an endangered synthetic. <laughs> okay, Trajan. Resident Embassy. Yay! Okay, we've got an embassy with Rome. Solidifying our good relationship with them. Same with Tamiris. Or is, is there anywhere else we're missing one? Let's see, do you have any, um... Ah, uh, they only have coffee. Rome actually doesn't have much in the way of special resources. And I can't make any... Oh, yes, I can. I can make a deal. Ooh, you have jade, but you only have one. Hmm. Never mind. Not willing to do that. 
Okay, now we have to choose a new research project. We're cruising down this tree. We just need to access... We really just need two more techs, and we are done. I mean, we, we have to launch them, but let's go ahead and go for lasers. So we have access to jet fighters and missile cruisers. I can't, I do have access to another spy, and I'm definitely going to arrange for that in Drotswav. Unless, of course... Okay, yeah, you're good. All right, this traitor needs to... Yeah. Yaroslav. All right, so we have... We've officially colonized Japan. And these islands off the coast of China. Improve that farm tile, and then next turn you're going to improve that iron. Three turns away from the Earth satellite's completion, so that's going to happen this episode. And then we need to repair that again, and we also need to get... Oh, we've got some religious combat happening. Looks like some Scythian apostles have arrived. Alright, someone... Yeah, Russia tried to steal another tech boost, and their spy died. Served you right, buddy. Okay, let's take our spy, send them to Krakow, confirm their placement, and you're going to counter spy in the frickin' industrial district. So that shit is not going to happen again. <laughs> Pardon my French. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, you just made a really big mistake. You just made a really, really, really big mistake. Oh, man. Okay, well, we're at war with Arabia again. They're uh, not as advanced as we are. There's a lot of religious combat happening in our land as well. Hmm. Sure. We'll accept your friendship. Oh, that is hilarious. We are in a position to just totally trounce them. They don't stand a chance. Okay, well this when is fun. God said, this... Let there be light. He surely must have meant perfectly coherent light. Indeed. Jet fighter and missile cruisers. Um Okay. Hey guys. I'm that civilization you just declared war on. You uh wanna change your mind? We've got these artillery here ready to go. Let's go ahead and upgrade these to mechanized infantry. Uh, let's fire on those guys. Let's fire on these guys. Let's fire on these guys. This is going to be so much fun. Actually, I think we need to upgrade that artillery. Unless we haven't quite reached that point yet. But we will soon. Let's go ahead and bring these, uh, these guys down here to pay these other troops a visit. Oh, you are regretting your life decisions right now, aren't you? Check that out. He just fired from that that far away. Why did they declare war on me? That's quite possibly the dumbest possible decision they could have made. And they made it. I'm gonna finish upgrading all my infantry to mechanized infantry. Yeah, I might be able to upgrade them next turn. We'll see. Let's bring this tank down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some of my units in the water. Now, this field cannon, yes, I can upgrade to a machine gun. Perfect. Mechanized infantry can go ahead and get in the water. Same with you. Yep, we're going to invade. Oh my god, that is the absolute dumbest decision they could have made. How stupid do you have to be? Alright, let's bring these tanks down here. These were our winged Hussars, so they have a little bit of combat experience. Do we have units anywhere else? Mechanized infantry, you come a little further south and we'll send you into the water as well. Let's tap through my units real quick just to make sure I've gone everywhere I can. Oh, yep. Let's go ahead and improve that. Artillery is not quite ready to do anything this turn, but they will be next turn. Oh, I'm so amused. Okay, we need to go ahead and go to the next turn so we can launch our satellite. 
so we can see everything before we attack it, because that's exactly what's about to happen. Um, let me go ahead and research. Uh, since we are at war, I'm going to research guidance systems so I can get access to rocket artillery, uh, and then really just make them hate their life. Oh my god, I can't believe this has happened. Been great person. Great admiral. Recruit. Choose production. Ginezno, what do you need? What do you need, I say? We have that settler training up in Lutz. Let's Let's have one more look at the settler map. Where else could I go aside from there? I could go ahead and settle right there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to settle a city right there just to kind of build a solid border against the Aztecs so they can't do anything else in that direction. Four turns. It's going to take a while to get out there, but it'll be worth it. All right, you just skip your turn. You likewise skip your turn. You likewise skip your turn. Okay, here's our great admiral. Gains one promotion level and 100%... Combat experience to a military naval unit. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so amused. Alright, next turn. Satellite is going to launch, and then we'll end this episode. In the next one, um, we are going to destroy Arabia. I called them Cairo because that's just their capital, but bad, bad things are about to happen. They don't have the ability to really damage my units. I have the ability to do so much damage in so little time and I don't even I haven't even been militarily focused this is gonna be fun to watch glorious what I like to see <laughs> still laughing it's still funny. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to close this, don't you? So we officially can see the entire world map. That's that. Let's go ahead and choose production real quick. See what else we can do here. Yeah, yeah we need to repair the workshop first and foremost. Okay, I will go ahead and cut this episode here. In the next one, I think it's very clear what we're going to do. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New historical and grand strategy videos air daily at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.